It's the weekly reset, so we're going to go over what is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here, and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the weekly reset, but there is so much more going on this week. For example, we have update 2.0.5 is now live. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken AO Pass giveaway for the month of November, then click on a link in the description box below for your chance to win. Also, I will be giving you guys details to in tomorrow's video about the December uh, giveaway, so definitely stay tuned for that. However, it is the weekly reset, and before we get into the weekly reset again, it is double infamy rank. For the entire week until the weekend, and then once the weekend comes, we will be getting double XP, I'm sorry, triple XP for Gambits. So yeah, definitely go ahead and start grinding Gambit out. Now, we'll be giving you guys details on the update as soon as we finish the weekly reset. But, starting off with the challenges, we have in the Traveler, Ikora, which you need to complete 20 bounties of any type. Then we have your Clan Rewards, which you need to uh, go ahead and get 5,000 um, uh, 5,000 experience with your clan and I already finished this as well as two more for Ikora Then coming down to the Vanguard we need to complete three story missions One strike and three strikes with a teammate of the same element And then last but not least we have your weekly nightfall Which you need to complete a nightfall as well as complete one with over a hundred thousand points Coming down here is Gambit, which you need to complete three matches. And remember, this entire week, it is double XP for your Infamy rank. So go ahead and grind that out. And the weekend is triple. So yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Um, as for the Crucible, we need to complete just five Crucible matches. You can do that in Quick Play, Rumble, Breakthrough, or Competitive. And Breakthrough is actually a uh, full-fledged game mode now, which is interesting. It's not just something you can play in private matches. Then on Nessus, we have your wonderful uh, weekly flashpoint. Uh, you can do public events, and if you do the heroic uh, versions of those, you can get it done a lot faster. Lost sectors and heroic adventures. And I think that's pretty much, oh, nope. And then we also have your uh, heroic adventure. Go ahead, do that, get powerful gear. And then we have the Dreaming City. Petra is located in the Devalian Mists, and go ahead and complete two of her weekly, uh, oh, yeah, two of her weekly bounties. So as we're flying into the tower, update 2.0.5 has made a lot of changes to Destiny 2. And in real short, if you guys would like to uh, actually read these changes for yourself, I will put a link to it in the description box below. And also, we do have the Refer a Friend quest that has come back to Destiny 2, and I will be uh, most likely doing a video on how to actually go about doing that. So, let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse for us this week. Welcome to Eververse. Starting off with the Prismatic Matrix, we have Hecubus S, Prime of Omelon, which is a ornament for the Cold Heart. Iridescent Death, which is an ornament for the Crimson. I'm gonna go ahead and look at that real quick. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the Jagged uh, Dark Sun, which is a speeder. And I'm getting messages. Then we have the Linear Fusion Dance. Okay. Then we have the Foretelling, which is the ornament for the Bad Omens. And I actually don't have this. That looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. As for our ship, we have the Stellar Pavements. A wonderful reskin and then for our ghost shell we have the color theory shell I'm getting a lot of messages Jesus I'll be with you guys in just a moment comes with two random mods then we have your Vanguard protect uh, projection sorry and then with last not 
last but not least, we have what's that for your emotes. Okay. So, for the festival, we have the heroic guitarist. It's a cool little, uh, cool, cool little emote. Jesus, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Then we have the, uh, I can't even say, Ariel Shroud. Sorry. Bishop's Run, Speeder. And then we have the Nine Lives Shell. Oh my God, I want this shell. I want it bad, like very bad. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to go ahead and buy it with uh, Bright Dust and I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of things just to get it. Then we have the Carve Projection, which gives you a uh, pumpkin. Helmets. I actually like this helmet, believe it or not, even though it looks kind of weird. Comes with heavy lifting, energy weapon targeting, a special ammo finder, as well as rocket launcher reserves. Then we have a uh, chest piece. Comes with unflinching power aim, unflinching sniper aim, auto rifle reserves, as well as special ammo finder. And then we have Mr. Cluck Cluck, the Colonel Mask. Yeah, I said it, Mr. Cluck Cluck. Actually have one of those maxed out. And then last but not least, we have your spooky shader pack, which comes with all these wonderful shaders. Page two. We have your cranking dance, emotes. Then we have your rev it up emote. We have the Ravager's Ride, which is a speeder. Comes with uh, destabilizers and a random mod. I actually pretty much like it, it's pretty cool. Then we have the uh, Glam Tobagon. The Unfinal Shapes, ship. I actually have mine in red, looks pretty badass. Then we have the Nebula Bloom. Nebula Bloom, Jesus. <laughs> Spectral Circuit Shell. I actually don't like this shell. It looks kind of weird. As well as the Orca Song Shell. Dragonfly Regalia Strides. This comes with Dynamo, Rifle Dexterity. Uh, ammo scavenger as well as primary ammo finder Down here we have the guardian angel which is an ornament for the chaperone Looks pretty cool Then we have the subatomic ivory which is the ornament for the main ingredient That looks pretty badass for a main ingredient not gonna lie then we have your Reef Oracle Transmat Effect, as well as a Ghost White. Shaders we have Smashing Success, D uh, Dawn and Dusk, and then we have your wonderful Boons. Go ahead and pick this up real quick. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.